Howdy, how are you? Excited, I'm sorry, Tom and Jimmy, and today is new brake day. Ha ha! We're gonna check out these new Hayes Dominion A4 brakes. What's inside the box? How to bleed them? How to install them? Let's get it on. All right, so Hayes has been around the mountain bike scene since the I think 90s. They were pretty big in the brake scene, maybe mid 90s. Uh, and Hayes is an interesting company because they have the background. Uh, with Harley Davidson motorbikes, so they know their stuff, yeah. And you know, they were gone for a while, now they're back, and they're back with the A4 Dominion brakes, which are really cool brakes. Uh, I was sent these uh, by uh, Lundberg, Pyralika Lundberg, so yes, this is sponsored by them and Hayes brakes. Now I said it, and yeah, let's see what's in the box and let's check out the bleed kit as well. All right. Let's see what's in the box. Here's the actual brake unit, the bleed block, a uh, second pair of brake pads and then there's for mounting, you get the mounting bolts, this uh, barb that goes on the end of the hose, uh, non-threaded by the way, and then there's a compression nut, you have to change the compression nut when you take off the hose, so good to know. So when Hay started designing the whole uh, Dominion P4 or the Dominion brake, they just you know, rethought the whole system and, and went through a lot of changes there. This is actually Kevlar reinforced. What? Yes, Kevlar reinforced. And the idea is basically that, you know, your front brake hose is shorter than your rear brake hose. Uh, and that means that the hydraulic fluid can expand the hose, right? And that makes your rear brake feel a bit, you know, less sensitive and maybe a bit spongy at times um, so that's why they made the whole Kevlar thing here so it doesn't expand as much if you brake hard so that's pretty cool the lever uh, is uh, you know a nice size it's a two finger lever I think yeah uh, opens fully here so it's easy to install uh, you have a really handy reach adjustment system here so it's, it's very quick to change now if you want to dot things up. A bit of a grip surface here, very nice. Um, and then you have your bleed port over there and a bleed port underneath here, so it doesn't matter which way you run your brakes, you can still bleed them really easily. And then you have your expansion chamber over here. The very unique thing about these is the fact that they have dual bleed ports here. It's a four piston caliper and you have bleed ports on both sides here. And that means that you can get all the air out of the system. So basically it creates a Y. And then a very cool feature is the fact that you have these small grub screws here on the mounting holes. And that means that you can really fine tune where your brake is and get it to sit nicely, always on the same spot. So you don't get that ching 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 sound, which is annoying. Okay, so let's start off by installing the front brake. Uh, for cutting the hose, you need a good hose cutter because this is a hose that's made out of Kevlar, okay? So your grandpa's old toenail snippers aren't gonna do the job. You need a proper pair of lady makers. Now you can make a boy into a girl in just a quick snip. <gasps> First off, we need an eight millimeter spanner, okay? First we have the compression bolt. We need to replace that. Okay, whoa. First we have the rubber boot. Then comes the compression nut, the, I think it's called an olive. An important thing with this uh, brass nut is the fact that it has to be pushed in three millimeters, okay? And then we just start screwing it in. And on to the bleed kit now, shall we? This is the Pro Bleed Kit by Hayes. And first off, I want to give big kudos to Hayes for having the bleed kit packed in a nice box so you don't lose your stuff and things don't get dirty. Let's check out what's in the box, yeah? First off, the ends for the syringes. You have the syringes here, big bleed block, nice bottle of Hayes dot 5.1. When you put in the brake fluid in the syringes, it's a good thing to clamp them and then Give it a good suck to get all the air out of the fluid and that way you have a smaller chance of introducing new air into the system. Front wheel is off, the pads are out, the bleed block is in and uh, 
Now we can start bleeding. It's a T9 Torx that you'll be needing to open the bleed port. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm gonna start by pushing from the caliper end. Just keep on moving the fluid back and forth until you stop seeing bubbles. Clamp that one. Now that we're done with the lever, we can clean it and I'm just gonna use some Makoff disc brake cleaner. Good stuff, removes you know oil, grease, brake fluid and grime. So this is a pretty damn good product. Now I'm gonna show you how to bleed the actual caliper. And uh, remember, the caliper has two bleed ports, so you can flush the system. So in case you have some air behind one of the pistons, you can get all of that out. It's super easy. Let me show you how to do it. So what you do, you turn it like this, so you don't introduce air to the system. Push from one syringe. Oh, look at that. Plenty of air here. And once the bike is upside down, you know, you're gonna lose less fluid when you take out the syringes here. In with your T9. All right, so that's how you install and bleed a set of Hayes Dominion brakes. And now it's time to take it outside and go for a test drive. All right, so one thing I forgot to talk about when installing the brakes uh, were the adapters because I didn't have the right adapters. So it's a bit of a hack job while installing. But now I have the correct adapters. Let's check them out. The big thing with the Hayes Dominion brake is the fact that the actual body is pretty deep right about here okay so it might be hard to use your existing uh, brake adapters i had SRAM adapters so this is uh, the Hayes adapter uh, what you can see here is it goes on here with a separate bolt instead of this one and over here we have a separate bolt here and then the brake attaches here so that's very important to have the right adapters front i'm using a shimano adapter that was what they recommended to me uh, in Lundberg, they said that this is the setup they've been using when installing and that seems to work right. So, uh, looks pretty cool. Okay, so it's the installation, bleeding, and initial test of the Hayes Dominion brakes. So go check them out uh, in Pyörälikia Lundberg if you live in Finland, or check out Hayes' website if you live somewhere else. But uh, what can I say? I like these brakes, very progressive, a very supple touch, super nice bleed process, and proper build. So hey, thanks for watching, and see y'all out on trails.